Today, we'll be revisiting the most unemployed county in America, Imperial. We were here two years ago. Since then, the Salton Sea has been declared the worst environmental and public health crisis in modern history. And the virus has crushed the urban areas. Imperial County is the epicenter of California's COVID-19 pandemic. It was a mess two years ago, and it's only gotten worse. So why are we going back? Because if you live in Los Angeles, your brain is under siege. Traffic is cavalry, bums are foot soldiers, your rent payment is a battering ram, and the neighbor's yappy dog is the bugler. If you don't escape once in a while, you'll go insane. And to me, Imperial feels like not just an escape from LA, but from the modern world. I know it sucks, but I like this place. So come along as we lovingly make fun of the most unemployed county in America, Imperial. Hi. We were actually told to meet Steven. We heard he's the guy who knows about the sea. He'll be back? He did the Oh, okay. Steven, are you in here, my friend? Yep. We heard you're the guy who knows everything there is to know about the Salton Sea. There we go. There's the flush. I want to find out if it was one or two. Anybody else? I'm going to gamble on two. I think so, too, unless he was jerking off. Steven, our man. Steven. We did take bets. Yeah. Number one or number two? This is, I have 50 bucks on it. I said it was one. For what? For what kind of bowel movement or urination you passed in here? <laughs> Did you take a shit or? <laughs> no, no. He, oh, okay. he pissed. He pissed. He pissed. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. What is your favorite part about the Salton Sea, Steven? Just like probably just um, dispelling the misconception that it's toxic and polluted. It's not. Oh, wow. So whoever wrote that quote I mentioned earlier, Assholes. Tim Krantz is the Salton Sea database manager and a professor of environmental studies. Strong desert winds will stir up tiny particles of poisonous minerals. That includes arsenic, selenium, cadmium. These are highly toxic chemicals. We can swim, nothing's gonna happen. No, we, we don't encourage it. The algae can infect wounds. If you ingest a lot of it, it can get you sick and stuff. It seems right. like it, it's not so great to go in there after all. It seems like it might be a little toxic, but at the same time, what about the smell? I mean, mm -hmm. would you would you say that's a pleasant smell? Yeah, I kind of just compare it as if you're going to the, to the beach. The algae bloom in the Salton Sea sucks out the oxygen from the water, kills the fish, and then it too decays. The result? One potent egg-like smell. The smell was horrible. Steven, you meet a girl named Stephanie. Stephanie comes up like, oh, Steven, it's beautiful, and you have such a great personality, but the smell? And what's, is that a dead tilapia? And there another. How many do you estimate died out there, Steven? Um, pro yeah, probably in the millions. Okay, so there's a second Holocaust taking place, but instead of Jews, we got tilapias. Still, not a bad place to swim. No, no, I wouldn't say. I would say it's a great place to swim. Last question I have for you. We understand that Imperial County has had the distinction of being the most unemployed county in the country. So hang on a second, do you guys have like a permit to fit there? Absolutely, Stephen. Stephen, since COVID, we talked to Carlos out there. We squared it all the way with him. I stuffed a stack of bills into his jean pocket. That won't be enough, so you have to get... I get a grease this guy too? 20 bucks. You have to get permission from our superintendent and from law enforcement to film here. How about we put a Washington on it and tell law enforcement to go fuck off till the end of time? All right. There's always this option. We can go put boots on the ground in Bombay Beach. We're gonna have to. Check in on the post-COVID employment situation that way. I think this was a clear example of what's going on in the media. They, they coached that man to say only the positive things about the salt and sea, not the truth. Everybody is afraid to speak their mind lest they be canceled. Exactly. He didn't want to say that it smells a little like shit out here. He couldn't admit, Leo, that it's a terrible place to take a date. Then he couldn't even admit that you can't swim in it and you clearly cannot swim in it. And he wouldn't even admit that he went in there and took a shit. That, and it was clear shit. He was in there for five so plus minutes. About that. You know what, he took a shit, Danny. We should tell him that. Okay. Right you are, Leo. Don't it. Darn it. Steven? He spends half the time in the bathroom and the other half the time at lunch. Steven was lying about something and we wanted to come, we wanted to let you know. He was taking his shit. You have any questions about the recreation area? Yeah. Well, are you the uh, absolutely, we're volunteers here. How long? 
volunteers here. C I'm a volunteer. Cynthia, please, please. she's the volunteer. We're actually paid employees. There is a hierarchy yes. in which she is our subordinate. They're here videoing so they can put it on the internet. That's all they're doing. Wow. Well, Sir, who are you going to trust? Me or her? I'm going to trust her. So tell us about the, uh, what are the lithium ion? The lithium ion, now in demand because of the electric car boom, mm -hmm. may revitalize Imperial County. It's going to create an opportunity to transform uh, the economy. Underneath the Salton Sea is one of the largest lithium deposits in the world. The lightweight metal that fuels lithium ion batteries, which make electric cars run. Not the answer of somebody who's faking their identity, is it, sir? No. Cynthia, you hear? I'm locking it down over here. Got it. We did well, right? Sure. It's a yeah, pleasure. no, I, you answered a couple questions. I, that, what I wanted to know. Thank you very much. That's what you wanted to know. Disrupt? More like answer the shit out of their cues. Mm. We are on fire, Lee, man. Bam! Hey guys, so we spoke to Steven, and um, I'm just gonna put this bluntly. The guy didn't know shit about the Salton Sea. He was really dismissive also, and kind of, I would just say, flat out rude. Steven, when he came out of the bathroom, oh God. had on him. We confiscated that from Steven. So, I mean, that's not right, would you yeah, say, right? Definitely not. Here's how we're going to settle this. Take a swig each, and we'll forget it ever happened. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. In trouble? Who's yeah. going to get you in trouble? Life is short, buddy. You're going to work at the Salton Sea Visitor Center for the rest of your fucking life? Listen, no. take a right swig. when we pulled up, we knew that you were knowledgeable, professional, and yeah. a damn good guy to boot. That's right. You're above this place. Yeah. You're going to get out of here. Steven's a fucking salt and sea lifer. That guy's going to be working there for the rest of his life. He's probably going to be a lifeguard over at Bombay Beach, yeah. saving tilapia. Right, because nobody's getting in that fucking dirty ass water. Listen, Carlos. That place has killed more fish than fucking every shark in the history of the world. They call this fish wits. Yeah. Because it's a death camp. I even heard the nickname. Fish. Fish I've never heard that. No, yeah, man. I, the only thing missing is the fucking train bringing them into town. They're really skinny tilapia, too. Yeah, it sucks. Man. And they got their cell number tattooed on their tail fins. Yeah, dude. Have you seen Mark? You haven't seen the Mark tilapia? Ladies! Oh, hi. How's it going? Wow, I did not expect. Carlos, get over here! How's the love life in general? Any uh, catches out here? I'm gonna tell you right now, that guy Steven over there. He took a fat shit on the job and then waddled out with a bottle of Old Crow under his arm. Yeah, can you believe that? You're really beautiful. Would it be okay if I kissed you? On the cheek. Okay. This is the Salton Sea, baby. This is the outback. This is the frontier. I'm gonna be very there are no rules. Cheek? Oh, wow. Look at that. Carlos. He had a little bit of Steven's tequila. Don't be a cock block, Carly. I was going to do something cheap. I'll actually beat your shit in if you touch her, bro. Don't be doing that shit. What's going on, Carlos? Why the jealousy? Wait, oh, okay, so there's romance, no, 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 romance here. There's romance. I gave her a gift. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. It was a Carlos. gift. There's no need to get hood. What's going on? Carlos, we're famous. This happens a lot. Danny, this happens. Women, we have a certain effect on women because we're famous. Don't be a snitch, Carlos. Snitches get put in ditches, or whatever the saying is. This is an old-fashioned cock block. Or a vagina block. Oh, you don't even know his name? Who are you going to talk to? Who are you going to I love you. Yeah, leave. Carlos, why were you so angry about that encounter? Uh, you guys are bugging. Why? Carlos. Carlos. Jealousy is going to get you nowhere in life. Carlos, let me tell you something. If you work out a lot, right, and get in really good shape... I'll give you guys a heads up, though. They call the rangers, they call the sheriffs, and they call the cops, so they're coming in. Well, they're going to need the SWAT team to take they, us they down. Me, I mean, they told me not to tell you guys. Shit. We're extremely trained at uh, what yeah, we do. Can I have different. Naomi's number? Because I was going to get her number, and you cock-blocked me. Yeah. Can you please give me her number? First order of business, the phone number. Then we'll deal with the rangers. If you give me her phone number, we'll, we'll leave right now. I can't help you. Attention, people. Entering the Salted Sea. This man, Carlos, is a cock block. I was trying to get a beautiful girl's number, and he cock blocked me like the snitch he is. He is a little, little bitch, and should not be allowed to be working here because I need an alpha. An alpha with some strength and dignity and who gets pussy. He's a virgin. Carlos is a virgin, everyone. Hey, everybody, this is Danny from later in the video. We found a bunch of cows, so stay tuned. Also, please like the video to help us out with the YouTube algorithm. One like will save at least two calves. 
Right. So otherwise, these things are gonna get slaughtered, huh? They're already getting slaughtered. It doesn't make any difference, but still like it. And also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. And our podcast, The Leo and Danny Show. Absolutely, every Tuesday. Are documentarians. Okay. You have documented. We're documenting Bombay Beach. There's like an art residency going on, and I'm kind of visiting here. If you look up behind these trees, you yeah. can see a whole bunch of structures. Okay. It's like a mile in that direction. And what kind of artist are you? I do digital arts. Where are you from? Belgium. Okay. Yeah. And what's your name, man? Xander. Xander. Danny. So we might come out and check out the uh, the little artist compound you guys have back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. We were gonna ask you for a favor, if it's possible. We need uh, someone to take some pictures of us on the beach. Okay, I gotta bring my dog though. Oh, yes. that's great. Hell yeah. Well, we didn't mention the nature of these photos she's gonna take. No, we didn't. Leo, where do you think we should take some photos? I'd say by one of these structures. If we're gonna put Xander to shame artistically, a background's important. Absolutely. Lindsay, we're just gonna hit you with it. Okay. Yeah. If we get naked, will you take our photos? Can we hold Buddy while we're stark naked here on the beach? I think about that one. That one, maybe, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't need a scar. He's only exactly. three. Exactly. He's only three. What is that in dog years? 21? Oh, he can well. fuck and drink. Lindsay, I'm just going to say brace yourself. Right. Because um, one of us is hanging. Okay. And one of us looks like a baby carrot. <laughs> in midwinter. Yes, she'll see for herself. They actually refer to my penis as the obliterator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you see that? What, what? You didn't, you didn't, you didn't see that? What about Cupid's arrow? That could be, that for me is good. Because it's narrow, but it inspires love. But it inspires love. If you get beat by it, you fall in love. And it might not be consensual. Right. Just like with Cupid's arrow. Yeah, Cupid's arrows. Lindsay, you were awesome. Thank you so much. Are you an artist yourself? I know, man. I'm more of a musician. Are you? Nice. What do you play? Morgan, I gotta ask before we break into song, what do you do professionally? I'm actually a researcher at a food security organization, nonprofit. Wow. So I work remotely. You have internet connection out here and you can work from Bombay Beach. Yeah, yeah, we set up a, um, Antenna, directional antenna, so yes. pretty good connection out here. So this is like Slab City for people with jobs. Yeah, it's like the Beverly Hills of Slab City is. Ah, that's what it's referred to. Yeah. So Morgan, just like you're a food security researcher, mm. I pay the bills through doing this. But I, like you play piano, have a passion for the visual arts. Mm. Are you familiar with the Dadaist movement? Wait, is that an artistic movement? It is. Yeah. Dadaism was born from the nihilism created from World War. Mm. Intestines being blown out by artillery shells, chemical gases. That creates a certain emptiness in people, a rejecting of traditional values. Oh, yeah. So the Dadaists gathered in Switzerland, and there, they created art. We consider ourselves, Morgan, post-Dadaists, because yeah. we've taken things a step further. It's really based on mostly the phallic symbol. Morgan, if we showed you some of our post dadaist art, would you take it in and rate it objectively? Okay, nice. That's, what do you see it, there, Morgan? <laughs> okay, you've got like a sort of dystopian, like mm -hmm. um, anti-mainstream kind of Absolutely. nudist like, like thing going on. Some degree of like nihilism, but yeah, maybe, yeah, I don't know. What yeah. Do you think? 
Like, I like, I like what you're describing. From the middle of the Beverly Hills of Slab City, Danny Mullen and Leandro Dottavio and Morgan, the king of the keys, present to you a piece I like to call in the key of to you now our post dadaist masterpiece god morgan Take a bow. We're going now, Morgan. We're going to Imperial, the city Imperial. Yeah. They're having their Midwinter's Fair. I don't know if you knew this, but Imperial County was the hardest hit by the coronavirus of any county in California. Yeah, I did hear that. So I see this Midwinter Fair, the first one they've been able to have in years, as symbolic of a rebirth. So I'm trying to think if we can tell that story with music somehow. Here in Imperial County, hanging with Morgan and Leo, we heard about the fair in Imperial Valley, and to that fair you know that we must go to show the people here still have hope that a man, a woman, and a child can still find jobs. <laughs> that they can gain an honest day's wage from a hard day's labor. And that no man, woman, or child must rob. So much talent on this bus, it's fucking ridiculous. We did it, Leo. Oh, yeah. We arrived safely. Whew. There is a Latino man guarding the back entrance. Oh yeah. This is what we're gonna do. <laughs> You're gonna go up and start speaking to the man earnestly and seriously in Spanish okay. about whatever. The weather, Imperial County, his job. And then at a random point, point to me and say something in Spanish, and I'm just gonna start speaking fluent gibberish Spanish. Hola amigo, ¿cómo te va? ¿Hablas español? Sí. Soy argentino. ¿Qué está pasando aquí? Aquí es, esa es la feria que se hace cada año. Y empieza el día, empezó el día 4 y se termina el día 14. ¿De dónde sos? Yo. Sí. Mexicano, México. Este es argentino también. Uh, nosotros tengo nueve, ocho, cinco, Casa Blanca, sí, we. Oui. ¿Cómo? Uh, what? ¿Qué dices? ¿Qué? Decile otra vez. ¿Te quieres hablar otra vez, por favor? Decile, al, decile, no, decile otra vez. Sí, no, no, no. En argentino, uh, poco sagaves. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak. Él me dijo que hablaba español, está mintiendo. Damn, she was pretty, dude. What's that? She was really pretty. So listen, one of you ladies caught the eye of my friend over here, those, Leo. Those bright, wow, those are green. Those oh, are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. We're Very filming nice. a little documentary on El Centro today. The most unemployed town or county. It's the most unemployed county in America. Yeah. You three aren't contributing to the problem though. This is great by the way. Mmm. Don't bite that. It's, it's been out there all day, dude. Danny, it's been out there all day. You can't. I'm trying to make her feel good about her cooking. She's killing it. Nicole's you Oh, you're gonna spit right next to me? Danny, apologize. There's hay and pig shit on the ground. Yeah, but I'm Lighten up. I made con eye contact with this beautiful woman and now you're you're fucking it up. So what do you want to do, Leo? What are you saying? Can I have your number? No. Damn it. I don't like his attitude. That's what did it? Yep. You got rude friends, so I see who you associate with. Cock blocked I, once again, Leo. Oh, the beer garden, dude. You guys wanna drink a beer? What do you do for work, sir? Construction. I was guessing cowboy. What do you want? You know her? And that's fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> fuck Joe Biden? Mm. <laughs> I'm going to him. <laughs> 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 Get 
Dude, <laughs> that laugh. Woo! You actually look like a big Biden guy. You do. You want to see Biden? <laughs> I do, yeah. Little shit fucking around. Right. <laughs> in that case, I got Biden in Go my ahead. pants, too. <laughs> Done. Let's go. Do you think Imperial is bouncing back now? Yeah. It is. Oh, fuck yeah. Do you think this fair is a sign that we're almost back to normal? Badass. This is a badass I fair. Like Where are the pigs, the goats, the horses? Oh, hell yeah, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Do you, uh, are you one of these goat handlers? No, I'm a pig handler. Are you? I'm a pig handler. Can you please show us a pig? I'll show you my pig. Yes! Oh. We get to see a pig! This is unbelievable. But rate the other pigs that aren't yours. Bullshit, lame, underfed, shitty hooves, lazy, gay. Is he your pig? Yeah. He's passed out under a pipe. What's his name? Where's Chi-Chi? His name is Django. So his coat, absolutely beautiful, Bo. <laughs> Full marks on that. The ears, a little asymmetrical. One demerit issued. Also, a little bit too much eye goop. You gotta get rid of the eye goop before showtime. So, how long does this pig live for? Oh, uh, not, not too long after this fair. What are you gonna do to him, Bo? I'm not gonna do anything to him. That's what the slaughterhouse is gonna do to So him. the slaughterhouse is gonna come to your house, take no, no, your no, pig and kill it? Him. They're gonna take it from here. You're gonna let him do that, Bo? I mean, I'm gonna give a lot of money for it, so. How much money are you gonna get? I don't know. Well, you better get the number before you send him off to the slaughter. Yeah. Look at how cute this guy is. You can't sacrifice him like this, Bo. Tell me right now. You don't have to promise me, but tell me you'll consider not letting him die. All right, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Wait, 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 Bo, he's going to the slaughterhouse? He's going to pig schwitz. I'm done, dude. I'm, 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 I'm a vegan. I'm vegan. He's so heartless. So you have no problem sending this guy off to get chopped. No, you just get money. Look at him. Look him in the eyes. Look at this pig in the eyes. Drop down. Say, Mr. Django? Mr. Django? I have absolutely no sympathy. I have absolutely no sympathy. For your plight. For your plight. And I hope you die a slow, lonely death in the local slaughterhouse. And I hope you die a, a, lo a lonely, slow life in the hospital. See, he's biting you. He can sense what you're saying. He can sense it's, it's very dark. All right, well, how much are you getting paid? Just estimate. Out of 2,500. 2,500. We've met a lot of people who do a lot of different things for work here in Imperial County today. <laughs> Bo here, he sells pigs for $2,500 a pop. And he's cold and he's heartless and they go die. But you know what? This is employment. And I'm happy to see that at least one person here, one Bo, is not on the dole collecting food stamps. Oh. You support yourself with pig death, buddy. <laughs> Dude, there are endless swine barns. Yeah, they're going to their sleep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can trot a pig. Absolutely. If you could help us trot a pig or a goat, we'd be happy to. I have a, you want a calf? Let's go. A calf? Let's get a calf, Let's get a calf baby. Let's what are your guys' names? I'm Julian. Danny. Howard. Howard and Julian? Yes. I like those names. Those are very mature names. It's crazy. You guys have to Mine? This guy's got the baddest calf in all of Pizzy. What makes your calf so special? It's ranked. This calf will get you some bitches. Okay, and how old are you, Howard? 16. So when I was 16, having a cool car, having the plug on weed, that got you bitches. Mm -hmm. But out here in Imperial, calves. Yes. Wow. It's a little different out here, but. Wow. And it doesn't hurt when you got some pimp ass shades like yeah. these. You guys are a couple of stunts. Yeah. All right. Howard, can we trot this mofo? And Howard, what's going to be the fate of this calf after you've won or lost the competition? Dead. Really? They get comfortable with death young out here. And we're walking in there. We're walking it in? Yeah. Oh, wow. Howard. Ranked calf here, baby, ranked calf. Any of you ladies in the mood for a ranked calf? Hey, we got a ranked calf right here. They're in the mood. See, I'm telling you, they're flocking already. <laughs> this is nuts. Howard, Julian, good work. This guy's gonna be big in the cow world. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's gonna be big. Look at this thing. Does this look like a half-assed calf? Hell no. Fifth place, Imperial County. And what kind of fur jacket do you have? This is Snow Leopard. Julian, take him. All right, we got some beef. Oh, the camera. Oh, the camera. Turn it up. The, the pigs made me sad. Leo, if you complain one more time about animal death, I'm gonna smack you. You gotta toughen up if you're gonna hang in Imperial. I can't, dude. You gotta toughen up. Leo, if I had a firearm, I'd shoot this one right in the face. That's my sister. 
Doesn't make any difference to me. Where do you hope to be in, say, five years? Military. You're gonna give up the breeding? Yeah. I'm gonna go, go breed my lady. Do you have a lady? He don't got no ladies. He gets zero ladies. Howard, you've been Noah. playing cool this whole time? You can ask Noah. You can ask Cade. Stop. You can ask Paul. Well, I'm gonna talk to Noah, Cade, and Paul. I'm gonna corroborate this. their numbers mm. right now. Let's Whatever. Go. When you're in the military, you're gonna sail into Okinawa, and it's gonna be different. All right. You're gonna find a local Japanese bride oh. who doesn't speak a lick. No. You're gonna teach her how to really raise beef. Tell her that Wagyu shit is whack. The only lick licking thing they're gonna do is lick my balls. Oh my God. Hey boys, we had to catch a ride back up to LA. Already? Yeah, but Howard, Julian, thank you guys so much. Do a little memorial shot. We'll freeze frame, we'll put Jesus in this, have like its date of birth to its date of death, which is gonna be one year.